Hello everyone. Welcome to the another reading session of the article titled 3D The title is 3D Integrated Multi Chip Module Trans Receiver for Transceiver for Terabit Scale DWDA Interconnects. So, let us see what it is. The authors are Stuart Dowdley, Anthony Rizzo, Nathan C. Abrams, Kunvi Lee, Davis Kilwadi, Vaishnavi Murthy, James Robinson, Terence Kulier, Leosha Molder, and Karim Burzman. So abstract and they, their affiliations are Department of Electrical Engineering, Columbia University, New York. Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Cornell University, and uh, TVI 990 and this address. Abstract. So here we present the architecture and assembly of a architecture and assembly of a compact 3D. Integrated CBOS silicon photonic transceiver for DWDF interconnects, dense wavelength division multiplex interconnects. The transceiver interleaves 64 parallel wavelength channels, enabling energy efficient scaling of multi terabit per second per mm square bandwidth densities for future. Co package chipsets. Introduction. Silicon photonic transceivers co packaged with computer chips can provide an energy efficient solution to the ever growing bandwidth demands of distributed computing. Such co packaged transceivers must deliver high bandwidth in a low area to avoid parasitically handing out the dense wire of the package. So this is the reason to so deliver high bandwidth in a low area. High bandwidth, low area and avoid parasitically handing out of the dense wiring of package. So number of hand out related with this word. The target bandwidth density for next generation interconnects is on the order of terabit per second per bandwidth square. So this is the next generation interconnects terabit terabit per second per bandwidth square. This is the next target. So objective can be set in this line. Here. We project the design and end to end assembly of a trans receiver, trans receiver basically, not receiver. It is basically transmitter and receiver and club work. So, trans receiver architecture that achieves an unprecedented bandwidth density. So, here bandwidth density what is used instead of bandwidth. Bandwidth density is here. Is uh, per mm square, terabit per second per mm square. This design scales bandwidth across 64 panel wavelength channels. This design scales bandwidth across 64 parallel wavelength channels with a dense wavelength division multiplex speed afforded by a co source. So there are 64. Channels, parallel channels. On chip filters 
are used to be interleaved and interleave wavelength channels into and out of transmitter and receiver back. So our chip filters, where we need filter. Multiplexers, box, and D box for interleaving. The interleaving and interleaving level channels into and out of transmitter and receiver box. Modulators and photodiodes are combined with electronic drivers. So here are modulators and photodiodes. Both uses your electronic drivers and receivers through dense 3D flip flop bonding and flip chip bonding of a silicon photonic integrated circuit. PIC and C nodes, electronic integrated circuit, PIC. Electronic integrated circuit. PIC and PIC. So PIC plus PIC. Here, copper pillars, bumps, allow a dense pad pitch of 25 micrometer. Furthermore, this approach has a straightforward path for scaling to mass production, as both PIC and EIC are fabricated in multi project vapor runs. At commercial 307 facilities. The EIC in the demonstrated assembly was fabricated in a 180 nanometer CMOS fabric process and is limited to data rates of 2 GBPS. So, electronic integrated circuit using 180 nanometer CMOS process. However, the transceiver multi chip module capacity is designed to deliver a 5 terabit per mm square bandwidth density at a per channel data rate of 16 Gbps. So, 16 Gbps data rate multiplied by 64 channels. So, so let me just which so that GPPS so it becomes your terabit. So GPPS. So we have figure one. Illustration of a transceiver PIC ring assisted bandgender filter parameters are shown in the filter one and filter two. Stages separated cog lines. So here with assisted transient data parameter has been used. So we have we have J I but it is ring assisted. So filter one and filter two. So, so this is one and second one is this first one the second one is and what the has is so there's a ring like this and after that what have combined is include so what this has been used for that so is yeah. so you can see this part okay so here uh, this is broadband national coupler there are also broadband dimension coupler. So two ounces are there. Oops. Oops. 
four by four. So after that, how so we can the silver core in the this one. So I think this portal, this portion, not related lines. This one. This is out. Not related line in and out. And this is unmodulated curve lines. This must to be wavelet. So here, the lines output. No input. Okay. So this is laser. And it has been modulated. Then here, modulated lines out. But here, modulated line in. And some receiver picture could be also given. Okay, so filter one to filter two stages separating com right. micro disk modulators and micro disk filters with photodiodes are shown in the north and south, respectively. So, here, here, so dot. Micro disk modulator, these are micro disk modulator. Uh, basically, modulator is here. This one. Micro disk modulator and micro disk filters with photo detector, photo diodes. Here. Modulate like in, so we need to demodulate. So here it is transmission. So micro ring filters, micro filters with photo detectors on this side. Core. Now optical part 2.1. The PIC is fabricated through the photonics multi project vapor service. Figure one illustrate the optical paths through PIC. Definition mode micro disk modulators are the basic element of the transmitter. So, in order to increase the packing density, instead of measured interferometer based modulator, that is carrier definition, we are using micro disk modulator with each encoding data onto a single call line. Uh, with each encoding data to the single one. And the similar micro filters are used to drop single modulated lines to make germanium photodiodes. These are the filters, micro filters. Micro disk modulators, micro filters, germanium photodiodes are used from the A process design team, APDP. Okay. Power hungry serialization and deserialization. At high data rates, constant per channel, bandwidth and the sizable 127 micrometer climbing diameter of a single mode fiber limits the number of optical IO ports can be included on a complex PIC transmission. These factors necessitate highly parallel per fiber wavelength multiplexing to maximize the bandwidth density. Unfortunately, cascading tens of modulators. But a single bus for multiplex channels results in unacceptable accumulated of resonance in such a loss and large intermodulation cost of for small channel spacing. This PIC architecture overcomes these drawbacks by filtering lines or chip from a single port onto four buses of 16 cascaded modulators. The ring assisted by center interferometers were selected as the filtering elements for box like spectral passback. And here, compactness compared to the other commonly used devices such as arid mobile gating. So, a simple RFZI acts as a 1 to 2 bit D interleaver projecting. Passwords to even odd channels in its upper or lower output ports. 
two RF Jedi stages are cascaded to yield a word to four D interviewer quadrupling the bandwidth per IO. The first stage RF Jedi have a desired passband spacing of 300 gigahertz, while the second stage was designed with 600 gigahertz spacing. The design of broadband RF Jedi is described further in file. For the full transmitter circuit, 64 cob lines enter the PIC through a S coupler ports, which are then split into six groups of 16 music cascading RF Jedi. These cob lines is then modulated by micro disk on four separate bus waveguides and are finally recombined by cascading RF Jedi to a single output port. The receiver split 64 incoming modulated cob lines into four groups of 16 again using cascaded RF Jedi and receives each line with a micro, micro ring drop filter and photodiode. Modulators and photodiodes are spaced at a uh, 25 micrometer by 75 micrometer pitch as each has a data signal. Data ground and data signal pad at a 25 micrometer pitch connected to the ES. The full optical circuit fits with within 0.4 micrometer area of the PIC. 3D integrated CMOS, EIC, and package assembly. Modulator cells of the EIC chip by mirror and micro disk and photodiodes on EIC. Each EIC transmitter cell has a cyclic 16 bit data register loaded through a serial port. An external high speed clock trigger all transmitters data. Registers and signal added drivers switch micro disk modulators on the PIC. The receiver cell converts current from the photodiode on the, on the PIC to voltage using the turns into this amplifier and store data into a register to be read out using a serial port. PIC transmitter and receiver cause cells are equipped with meter. The register to the converts for thermally cleaning the Modulator and micro ring filter resonances appears fabrication offset and ambient temperature fluctuation. The EIC was fabricated using DMS 180 nanometer CMOS process nodes. Although that node size limits the design data rate to 2 GBPS, it enables a cost effective and quick turn prototyping of dense 3D integration. And EIC based on PSMC 28 nanometer CMOS processes. Currently, in development and is projected to achieve per channel data rate up to 60 Gbps. So, initially, it is two with so 180 meter technology, two Gbps, and uh, uh, 28 nanometer, CMOS, 60 Gbps. The EIC is 1.5 mm by 1.5 mm with all transmitter receiver cells. Only occupy 0.25 micrometer. Figure 2 here shows an optical microscopic image of the fabricated PIC die. Figure 2 a So, figure 2 a This one. Figure 2 presents the end to end assembly of a transceiver. Transceiver, the PIC and PIC from foundry multi project efforts are received. As simulated dyes, which are not available to dense copper filler fabrication. To emulate the wafer labor bumping process, the EIC is placed in a model plastic carrier wafer. Dyes the aluminium terminated pads for both dyes are plated with under bump fertilizer, followed by shoulder tipped copper filler fabrication or EIC pads. The EIC is then diced out of its carrier and fit. Against the PIC for pad to pad bonding. So, A to C optical microscope image of first the EIC before post processing. Then, B is this EIC pads with solder tipped copper pillars fabricated. PIC with EIC flipped. So, PIC with EIC flipped on top and wire bonded to PCB. 
Cassie Sumer RPCD with glow top over wire board at fiber array coupler to PLC. The combined EIC and PIC multi chip module is then attached and wire bounded to an evaluation PCB. Power signal and controls are fed through the wire bound to the PIC and then to PIC via metal layers on PIC. The, the protective globe top is cured over the wire bound and is tapped on the side of PIC with edge couplers to allow for fiber array coupling with a micro positioner. Results. We show the alloyed spectra of the cascaded uh, RFZI stages. So, figure three in this one. Our chip evanescent taps were placed between RFZI stages to isolate the thermally tuned spectrum of each stage. And OSA was used to scan isolated RFZI spectra, while dark silicon heaters were used to thermally tune the optical path length of the ring and delay R for each R of Jedi. Figure 3B is the resulting allied spectrum through both stages for one of the four buses. The cascaded spectrum has passed that with a 5.2 nanometer, that is 650 yard space C, and the worst case extension ratio of 12. To the best of the author's knowledge, this is the most comfortable spectrum of cascaded RMJI stages with an area of 0.5 micrometer square. VLC was powered on, but no bump leaks between VLC and VLC. The current situation has been limited, showing data right here. So, here 1593, 1598, the first stage upper port is blue, this one. Here. 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 Yeah, yeah. Second stage upper port green. Right, first stage lower port. Spectrum of each interlayer stage. Spectrum of cascading interlayer stage. Increase in. The design architecture and assembly of a delta convex 3D integration serial transceiver was described and demonstrated with the potential for extreme bandwidth density on the order of multi terabit per second per square. described. Dense copper pillar connections between the PIC and PIC enable low footprint transmitter and receiver back. And compact filtering is achieved with cascaded RMJI interleaver stages. The proposed transceiver architecture demonstrates a clear path to achieve achieving multi terabit per one square interconnection between uh, bandwidth density between the chip density packages. Work. This work was supported by US Defense Advanced Research Project Agency under EIPES grant. This number the material is based upon work supported by the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship Program under grant number. This will be Opinions, finding and conclusions are or recommendations expressed in this material are those of the authors and do not precisely reflect the views of the National Science Foundation. The author thanks CEI for the assembly of the 3D integrated. This is this person. Oh, so, thank you. This we have read this paper. Not very old. This is the interviewer paper only. Thank you.